Well, here I am just outside Jerusalem and I'm at Pinkua learning about their sitting up delivery of proton therapy. Could you introduce yourself, sir, and tell us what you do here? So my name is Dr. John Feldman. I'm a chief physicist at Hadassah, Hadassah Medical Center and I've been working in Hadassah for now almost 17 years. Last eight years I've been the chief physicist in Hadassah. And now I'm working with PQ on this new system of treating on proton therapy and upright positions. So we're the first giving proton therapy in Israel and the first treating on the system worldwide. And so a benefit of proton therapy is you're doing less damage to nearby organs. That's the guts of it, isn't it? Yeah, basically we're giving much less damage to organs at risk. We have the ability to give much less damage to organs at risk. On the low doses, the organs at risk get much less radiation than with photon or, pro- or electron treatments. I want to show people what this sitting up technique is, and I'm just going to pull back for a second and show that there is a CT scan that the patient can have lowered over their head, and I'm going to turn around inside this bunker and show where the beam comes out, uh, and that beam can then go into the patient to attack the tumour. Now, can I ask you, what is important or be- beneficial about sitting up? What's, why is this an important so innovation? Basically, to build a normal proton field that rotates around the patient, they need to build a building which is about three or four storeys high, which is very expensive. And the rotation procedure around the patient is very expensive also. And it's very difficult to get to accuracy when turning something which is 10 times weight, a meter, three and a half meters from the patient, getting to accuracy of half a millimeter inside the patient. Whereas if I rotate the patient round, it's much cheaper to do because I don't need this enormous facility. Yep. And the accuracy can be much, much better because I'm just rotating 100 kilos, 120 for a fat like me. But no more than that, not much more than that, compared to these 10 times, and it's in the idle center, in the position where we're rotating. So we're rotating round the masses in, this, in the point, and we're not using the moment of the distance. And you're able to place this technology, this proton therapy technology, in existing bunkers that we use for conventional Linux. Is that correct? I'm not able, but the company is. Yeah. The company is putting this technology into a bit larger than a normal Trubium vault, which is Trubium is the normal photon therapy vault by Varia, but as same as, as Electra, which is the other company. But they can use their larger vaults to put this whole system in and get proton therapy in a normal photon center. That's building a much bigger toolkit for the center. Hey, can I ask you, do you think it's psychologically more comfortable for cancer patients who can sit up to get their proton therapy to sit up? Well, basically, I'll say more than that. It's not me. There have been many researchers, not researchers, not done by PQ or Adasa, but have other, other companies doing upright uh, MRIs and upright uh, positioning in photons. Other companies have published publications showing that patients prefer to be seated up in treatment preferred to be in the upright position. In addition, the first treatments of photons, first treatment of a cobalt system, the first treatments of the first accelerator, all done in the upright position. Even the first treatment of protons was done in the upright position in 54. So why should we go lying down? Because everybody's used to lying down in the hospitals, not for any other reason. Most of our patients, mind you, of our patients walk into our clinics. Only less than 2%, I think, are laying down and coming in beds. So for most patients, upright would be perfect. And and what are the set-up times like? You know that in a cancer centre, the capacity to move the patients through is both financially and practically important to be able to treat the patients. How does this compare? So I think it's very similar. I mean, we, we managed to get our patient through... When we started at the beginning, it took us a long time until we got the experience. Our first patients took us an hour. We're now at 20 minutes, we're down to 20 minutes per patient. Uh, a full flow from a second, they move the gums into the room until they finish treatment and we remove from the chair. 
from the upside, upright position. 20 minutes, we finish our flow for a patient at the moment, and I think we can still get better. And, and you're doing this work in the context of a clinical trial. Could you just, in a nutshell, explain what trial you're doing? So basically, first of all, we didn't have to start on a clinical trial because this system has a full FDA. Explain we, what a full FDA means. means that any company in America could buy the system and start treating on it. We don't have to do a clinical trial. Here in Israel, we decided to go on a clinical trial of the system, and we started off with head and neck patients, and we are treating head and neck patients on the system after we simulate a plan, meaning we position the patient on a laying position in a normal simulator in our department, plan a normal photon plan, then bring them here to another CT in an upright position, another plan upright position, and compare the two plans. Only patients that benefit, clearly benefit from the upright position in protons come to protons. I think it's about two-thirds of the patients, maybe a bit more, came to protons. There still were some patients when we treated them photons, they didn't benefit much from the proton system. And, and you've said to me that, uh, as a clinician, you want as many tools as possible in your tool very, Can that's you explain very true. That? That's very true. In our hospital, we have many types of, of accelerators. So we have our basic true beam, which is the normal true beam, which is most hospitals have. We have the EPO system, which is the adaptive treatment. We're one of the first to do that in the world. We uh, have the proton system. We have brachytherapy systems. We have intraoperative accelerators. So we hold a large, a large toolkit. So every patient, we choose the correct treatment for that patient. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. And just before I end the video, I'll show them the CT scan that is used to uh, assess uh, what is happening inside the patient for every treatment. And this is where uh, the beam comes from. And as uh, Dr Feldman said, they do a lot of head and neck so we can see the masks in the corner. But thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.